Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Welcome back to the show, the greatest show on earth. Famous Fortunes with your host, the one and only Lord of the Orbs, Lord Famous Fortunes with you today. Uh, again, back in the hot seat, fully charged up from my forest experience. So we're going to get into it today. We're going to look at the legend of the Burkhead Bump. Now, I think everyone knows what I'm talking about, but it was a particular day when Harry's wife was cosplaying as Princess Diana, you know, as she does, and <laughs> there was some technical issues with the bump, and we're going to investigate today. Was it a bump? Did it slide down? Did it fall to her knees? Did she have to grab it? I mean, I, I looked at the footage on the Royal G, and I mean, it almost looked like she'd almost tripped over when the bump started to fall, the alleged bump. It looked like she, she really stumbled there a bit. I mean, it was like, oh, ca you better catch her, Harry. I mean, she's going to go down, and that bump's going to pop, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's going to be a thing. Imagine if it did, she did, you know, the heels went, you know, everything like that. And she went over and then the basketball or whatever it was just, I think it's, a, it's an actual device people purchase, right? Uh, wow. Um, I'm not quite sure why people would buy that, but maybe there's a legitimate reason. I don't know. Maybe, uh, but okay. Uh, fair enough. Um, <laughs> we're going to read on this today. I don't know why it's bringing me such, it's bringing me the giggles to read on this because it's so ludicrous. Uh, but I want to enjoy reading on it with everyone today. So let's dive in. Of course, like, subscribe, do all the things. Uh, the the course on removing entities with a divine invocation is in the comments below and all the rest of it. So you can get that if you want to learn a divine invocation to remove negative entities. No witchcraft, only invocating uh, higher, let's say higher celestial energies. And uh, it's in the comments below. So many people have emailed me and said, oh, you know, I get this... Things happen to me before I do it. You know, a lot of things start happening. I mean, people said, I haven't been able to do it yet because every time I do it, someone interrupts me. Uh, it's like, yeah, this is this is the power of the spirit world. It's this unseen force going on out there that you can't really see. And if they're around, they can influence people. And it's like, what's going on? Why is, why is this happening? Uh, a lot of people are hearing, oh, don't do that. You know, oh, don't do that. You're going to, you know, in, you know, something bad. You know, you're invoking evil spirits by calling on divine names. Sure, okay. Uh, and then, of course, as soon as they perform the invocation, they never hear the voice again. <laughs> it's unbelievable. The, li the lies, the lies of evil. It's just they love to lie and invert everything. It's just unbelievable. All right, so let's dive in today to the, the Burkhead bump. Now, what was the bump? Let's, let's, let's start there. What was the bump? First up, first question today. What was the bump? the bump. Let's have a look at the true nature of the bump. The bump, bump, bump. The bump in the nice. The bump at Burkhead. Cards are hot. Six of sword. Prince of wands. The devil. Oh, ho, 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 here it is. Justice, oh no, Eight of Swords, oh no, look at that energy, look at that, look at that, look, <laughs> oh, I'll talk more about that, Page of Cups, oh, we'll throw in the tower, we'll throw in the tower card, I knew today was going to be good, oh, what can I say, I can just go home now, that's it, so I can just pack up, pack up early one today, uh, it's, it, wow, I'm going to have some tea and just have a look at that. For a moment, let me just sit on these cards. These cards really tell the story. Where's the devil swear jar? Because we're going to need it today. Where is the devil swear jar? I hope it's probably going to get a multiple workout today, I think. But uh, let it be known. Let it be known. Let it be known. Uh, so, what do we have? Uh, we have um, the devil, of course. We have the devil there. The devil and Prince Harry's archetypes coming up next so if, if you i mean look at the the way the footage is harry's walking on that side if you're looking at them on the left and someone's on the right right uh now who, this this the de let's talk about the devil card for a minute right because yeah we've done a lot of readings on sort of paranormal topics and sure that there's definitely a paranormal uh, element to it when read on paranormal topics right however we're talking about not we're not talking about paranormal topics i don't think there's a you know a devil in the bumper or anything like that that's not what i'm saying this is an archetype, right? What does the archetype mean? The archetype is not one of truthfulness. Let's just get that on the table. 
there's not a lot of truthfulness when it comes to the devil. We're just talking about that. Evil spirits will tell you that when you, you know, you call on higher energies, they're, they're, they're bringing in evil spirits. It's just a, it's un, unbelievable, 100% bold face lie, right? You know what I'm saying? It's like, you're not calling downstairs, you're calling upstairs. There's a big difference. But the devils will tell you, you're calling upstairs, you're calling downstairs. And the devils are what you're, the devils are the angels, are they? Yeah, that's it. This is a big, it's one of the biggest lies ever told, actually, that the devil's an angel. But it's another topic. That is another topic altogether. All right, so he'd love to be an angel, I'm sure. Uh, it's, yeah, this is, a, <laughs> it's, even there's so many, okay, honestly, there's so many lies out there. That's probably not the greatest lie ever told, but it's definitely one of the greatest lies ever told. Uh, of course the devil's going to call himself an angel. Does that look like a, an effing angel to you? Look at that. I mean, I mean, that's, that's Baphomet, right? But yeah, I mean, the devil does, you know, he's red. The devil's red in color, just in case you're wondering. And it has big horns, right? Kind of, you know, very close to actually, in fact, what's that Jack Black one with the devil? Uh, is it Jack Black, the devil? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Jack Black. Jack Black, Tenacious D, uh, Beazle, what is it? Is that what it is? Tenacious D, it's a Tenacious D song, right? So in any event, I, I, I don't know, what's the tribute? Is the song called Tribute? Uh, yeah, all right. So in any event, it's, you know, if you want to know, well, that's pretty much very similar to what it is. Uh, so Baphomet's a demon, sure. Right, okay, let's talk about the archetype. We're getting carried away here. I'm so excited. I can't believe this read. This read. It's an archetype of deception, right? So what's happening here is just total weaponized deception. And it's a, a fully formed conscious lying and deception. The question we're going to need to ask is, does Harry know about this? Or has Harry been kept in the dark? Now, I know some people are going to say there's no possible way on earth Harry's going to be kept in the dark. Well, I don't. I think you might be underestimating Harry. <laughs> oh, Shiza. Oh boy, is that actually a swear word? Or did I actually just swear it in a language? Because I don't, I don't want to swear. It's a fa kind of family show. I think I only did it once uh, in, in the history of the show. But in any event, uh, and I think it was <laughs> in any event. In any event, uh, okay. So is is she wearing? Is there you know this? Does this? Can I look at this reading honestly and say you know what was there? Uh, you know, because uh, the underlying energy is the page of cups, which is kind of like the. The thing here, right? Is this a is this a child there? But the devil energy, I can't say that. This to me looks like blatant in your face manipulation. Do you hear what I'm saying? Blatant in your face manipulation. Harry may or may not be involved, I don't know, but I want to talk about this. Here's look at this. Look at this energy. I want to inspect this energy with you. Where's a pen? I'm gonna use a pointing device here. This is a woman, all right. This is a woman, and uh, she is Currently, if you look at her midsection, there's a like there's something tied around it. There's something secured around there. Something that is not organic, not organic material. Something that is uh, in inorganic material that's been secured around her waist. I mean, can it get any more obvious, folks? Any more obvious? That is the in terms of tarot, this is the jackpot, folks. This is the jackpot when it comes to tarot. I want you, want you to know that. All right. Was the Burkhead bump a a moon bump? I'd say confirmed. That's what I'm. I'm sorry. I could say confirmed. Now, now, could it have been? Now, it's an interesting question to ask. Was Harry involved? But could there have been, um, you know, a, a, a type of augmentation to that area? So, could there have been an actual, you know, pregnancy, but then augmenting it to look like? something more than it was i'm just trying to rule out possibilities do you hear what i'm saying i'm trying to rule out possibilities here okay so we're going to ask did harry know that we might do that in, did harry know we're going to do that in another episode i think because that would i think that could be a rabbit hole <laughs> i think it could be a rabbit hole i just get the feeling so we're going to park that for another episode right so did the moon bump slip when she walked to the car? That's a question we're going to ask. 
But I, I do want to know, though, is, is it just a moon bump or is there actually a pregnancy there and they're augmenting a pregnancy? Let's ask. I don't know how we're going to see it on the cards. Is it only a moon bump or is it an augmentation of a pregnancy? And I mean, that could be a whole other thing. You don't know. You don't know. I mean, people can, there are people out there presenting themselves in a certain way and behind the scenes, just completely different people. And that's a fact. That's a fact, right? That's just a fact. There are people out there. You don't know what's going on with her, really. I mean, people are speculating based on her behavior. But you don't know. I mean, what's, you don't know what's happening. Just, it could be any number of reasons why she'd want to augment it. In her mind, of course. I mean, if it can be done, people will do it, right? So, is she augmenting an, a, a sort of smaller bump? Or is there just really no, no real bump? It's just a fake bump. Let's see what we get. Cards are hot. Oh, look at that. Ten of Swords. Uh, I'd say that's almost our answer right there. Four of Swords. The world. The world. The King of Wands. The King of Cups. The Five of... Okay, so there's no... It's, there's no underlying... Uh, there's no underlying pregnancy that I can see on the cards. I'm just reading the cards, folks. Now, you know, it, I, it's all I can do is read the cards. Uh, you know, my long-term viewers will know this, uh, that... You know... That's what I do. I don't. I don't have the answers written and then just jump straight into them. I don't. I don't do that. I always shuffle on camera. I think maybe the only one time in the history of the show where I didn't do that uh, because I had an interesting reading. That was a long time ago. But uh, all right, you know, I, I just. I'm very transparent. I don't edit the videos, right? Unless I smash the camera and it falls on the floor, and then I just have to chop my two seconds out, right? But okay, so I mean, I drink a lot of tea. Well, what else do you want to know about me? Uh, let's say that. Um, there's just nothing here. There's just nothing here, folks. There's no underlying... Now, I mean, this is interesting, this card here. This, there's no underlying pregnancy that I can see on the cards. I can't see it. I asked to see it. We could have seen a page. I could have seen something. I didn't, didn't see nothing. All right. Now, five of coins. This is interesting. I, it, you know, question mark. Was there a pregnancy at some point and then there wasn't? I don't know. It's a question. Should we ask it? Was there a pregnancy at some point before the bump? And they just kind of ran with it. Was there a pregnancy at some point? Cards are Hmm. The Empress. The Two of Cups, the Seven of Wandage, the Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. Okay, interesting. Now we're getting on absolutely next level. I'm, you see, you've got to follow the cards, right? You've got to follow the cards. So was there a pregnancy? Let me walk you through what I have here. Let me have a sip of tea and I'll walk you through these cards. The Empress. The Empress. Mother Archetype. Right, mother archetype. We talk about this a lot. Yes, it's literally the queen, but it's the mother archetype. That's why the queen is so powerful, and it's her archetype is the mother of the nation, right? And the, the king is like the father of the nation, the father archetype. Extremely powerful archetypes. This is where a lot of cult leaders come in. They misuse the father archetype. And it's very, very dangerous, but people get really sucked in. I know I know a cult leader, and he uses misuses the father archetype. And guess what? Most of his followers had no fathers growing up. Think about it. Think about that for a minute. So it must be really hard for that person. You know, if that, if that person, a cult leader, has children and, you know, they're looking at, him, at that person as a father archetype as well as the cult leader, that's double trouble. Do you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's very... These archetypes are powerful, right? Fundamental archetypes are so powerful to the human psyche, particularly the father archetype. But in any event, this, the empress here, this is the mother archetype. To me, it looks like she was pregnant at some point before the bump. Now, this is just big news, isn't it? Look at this, Queen of Pentacles. It looks like there's a pregnancy. Page of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. To me, it looks like she was pregnant, which is what the previous spread may have been alluding to with the Five of Coins. Yeah, I just picked it up. Just picked it up with a... I just picked it up with the um, that Five of Coins. It looks like there's been a miscarriage. That's what I'm seeing. Miscarried the bump. What? Put that on Oprah. I don't want to hear about no royal whatever, you know, what, you know, let's just call, I don't want to mention the exact issue, but you know, like what kind of shade are we throwing on the walls? 
You know, like, what are we painting the walls? Uh, it's really like, just really. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear this. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Just give me a. Where is Oprah? Where is Oprah? What are you? What are you doing, Oprah? What are you doing? Unbelievable. Right. So, 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 I think we have, for the most part, solved the mystery today. The mystery of the the, the mystery of the Burkhead bump. The legend of the Burkhead bump. Now, did the bump slip when she walked? I'm going to ask that. Did the bump slip? Did the bump slip when she walked? Did the bump slip when she walked? Cards are hot. Oh, look at this. Ten of Swords coming up. Queen of Swords. The ju the Justus card. The Justus. You know what I'm drinking? I'm talking about juice. Pomegranate juice. Next level. Wild organic pomegranate juice. Page of Pentacles. You know, I actually read... There's a, there was a study done in Israel, of all places. Three of uh, Wands and the four of Coins. There was a study done in Israel showing that uh, they reduced coronary plaque with pomegranate juice. Like a third of a cup a day. Unbelievable. That's science. I'm not making any claims. I'm just saying that's a scientific study I read. Um, so just whatever. I mean, I'm not drinking it for that reason. I'm just saying, I mean, how, how unbelievably powerful is nature, right? Imagine if they had a drug. Imagine if they had a drug. You go and buy it from the chemist, one third of a cup of this drug every day. Honestly, it'd be like, you'd pay, like, honestly, if they could if they could make fruit into drugs, you'd pay like $600 for a pomegranate. <laughs> Don't joke. I mean, I'm not, I'm not joking. You would. It would. It'd be like a trillion dollar industry. All right. So let's say that uh, it's it's powerful stuff. Powerful antioxidants. I mean, it looks like blood when you pour you pour it. But all right. So so what are we asking here? We're asking, did the bump slip? Now, oh, tough read. This is a tough one. I think we we should have probably stopped before this spread. I think we well, we've probably taken it too far today. I had that feeling three. Three spreads is usually a good episode, uh, but I, I pushed it today because I was feeling good. I wanted to continue, but uh, this is the bump here. I'd say the Page of Pentacles is the bump, the bump. So she's, what's this Queen of Swords? She's holding on to the bump. Okay, so she's, she's, she's holding on to it because, where's the pointing device? Because she's trying to keep it in place, All right? That's what I'm seeing here. Um, did it slip? It looks... Mm, no, I don't think it did slip, but I think she thought it could have slipped. She maybe she was concerned that it was and what people okay, she was concerned that what people were seeing and she held on to it. I don't think it slipped per se. I think maybe reading between the cards she could have thought it slipped and she's like, "Oh no, it's slipping, it's falling down," you know. But then when you sort of like when she kind of she kind of had to secure it. Mm, that's maybe it moved or something. Did it move? Uh, justice an interesting balance there's like an idea of balance coming in here balance of the bump how people are perceiving it no i think she was i don't think so from the ten of swords i think she was very concerned with how it looked okay so it's a good spread maybe i just needed to sit with it for a minute i did need to sit with it for a minute right uh okay so i think today this has been this is a, I, i'm gonna call this as a legendary episode this is a legendary episode of famous fortunes the legend of the burkhead bump with your host, Lord of the Orbs, Lord of Famous Fortunes. I can't believe I've read on this today, but it is something amazing. What an amazing episode today we've had on Famous Fortunes. Thanks to the Royal G for amazing analysis, bringing me up to speed with the issue. Uh, big shout out to the Royal G. Uh, hope you're doing well. Ho hope, uh, I'm going to call him Teddy. I hope Teddy's well. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy, I forget his name. Is it Teddy? It's not Teddy. Oh, I'm sorry. I know it's not Teddy, but uh, or maybe it is. I don't know. You have to tell me. What's what's the do what the Royal G's new dog's name? I forget. We need more dogs. Uh, more dogs, please. That's good. All right. The legend. The legend of the bump. The truth is revealed. On only on famous fortunes. If you have a question for a future episode, let me know in the comments. I will see you in the comment section.